Good morning, everyone. Good morning. The intentions for Holy Mass this morning for the complete healing of Marie Jeanne. And here we have the votive Mass of Saint Joseph. Behold, a faithful and prudent steward whom the Lord set over his household. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we ask the Lord for silence, forgiveness of our sins, and purity of heart. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in your inexpressible providence were pleased to choose St. Joseph as spouse of the Most Holy Mother of your Son, grant, we pray, that we, who revere him as our protector on earth, may be worthy of his heavenly intercession. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Children, obey your parents in the Lord for this is right. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise, that it may be well with you and that you may live long on the earth. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. Slaves, be obedient to those who are your earthly masters with fear and trembling, in singleness of heart as to Christ, not in the way of eye service as man pleasers, but as servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, rendering service with a good will as to the Lord and not for men, knowing that whatever good anyone does, he will receive the same again from the world, whether he is a slave or free. He will receive the same again from the Lord, whether he is a slave or free. Masters, do the same to them, and forbear threatening, knowing that he who is both their master and yours is in heaven. And that there is no partiality with him. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> Thanks be to God. The Lord is faithful in all his words. The Lord is faithful in all his words. All your works shall thank you, O Lord, and all your faithful ones bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your reign 
and declare your mighty deeds. The Lord is faithful in all his words. They shall make known your might to the children of men, and the glorious splendor of your reign. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Your rule endures for all generations. The Lord is faithful in all his words. The Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his deeds. The Lord supports all who fall and raises up all who are bowed down. The Lord is faithful in all his words. Alleluia. Alleluia. God has called us through the gospel to obtain the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus went on his way through towns and villages, teaching and journeying towards Jerusalem. And someone said to him, Lord, Will those who are saved be few? He said to them, Strive to enter by the narrow door. For many, I tell you, will seek to enter and will not be able. When once the householder has risen up and shut the door, you will begin to stand outside and to knock at the door saying, Lord, open to us. He will answer you, I do not know where you come from. Then you will begin to say, We ate and drank in your presence, and you taught in our streets. But he will say, I tell you, I do not know where you come from. Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity. There you will weep and gnash your teeth, when you see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God and you yourself thrust outside. And people will come from east and west, from north and south and sit at the table in the kingdom of God. And behold, some who are last will be first and some who are first will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's a feature of Jesus' style that he often answers a question by another question or by deflecting the question and going to something more serious. So we find in the Gospel, for example, that people who want to know when the second coming will happen, when the end of the world will happen, and he never says exactly when it will happen, but he diverts their attention to what is more important than this curiosity, to be ready for the coming of the Lord whenever it is. When James and John and their mother, the wife of Zebedee, asks for front seats for James and John, uh, he diverts their attention and says, it's trivial and not anything to do with me. And now this question, which certainly recurs in the history of the church, how many will be saved, 
Will it be few or will it be many? Each time, Jesus does not answer the question head on, but he turns to what is more important, that we should be ready, that we should repent. Just as he did a few days ago in the Gospel, when we had the story about the people who had been massacred by Pilate, or the people on whom a wall had fallen and killed them. We have to be ready. We have to repent now, so that whatever happens, and whenever it happens, we will be ready. And then he gives this quite stark warning that many times people who think they are necessarily going to be saved will find themselves locked outside. And outsiders may well be surprised that they are finally in the kingdom. So insiders and outsiders, all of us, will get many surprises at the end of the ages. God has been called the God of surprises because you just never know what is going on in another person's life. People we might think to be great sinners may repent or may have already repented. And people we think to be very holy may be in greater need of repentance. So we ask the Lord for the wisdom to focus on what is important so that we will be ready for the kingdom whenever and however it comes. Amen. So let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, 
our loving Father. May the Lord As we prepare to offer the sacrifice of praise, O Holy Father, we humbly ask to be sustained in our service by the prayers of St. Joseph, whom you call to watch like a father on earth over your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. And in honoring Saint Joseph, to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God, and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household, to watch like a father over your only begotten Son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim, worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. the body of Christ. <coughs> the blood of Christ. Amen. The body 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 of Christ. Amen. Well done, good and faithful servant. 
Come and share your master's joy. Let us pray. Restored by these life-giving sacraments, Lord, may we live for you always in holiness and justice, helped by the example and intercession of Saint Joseph, who in carrying out your great mysteries served you as a man just and obedient through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell, Satan, and all the evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen.